Bonjour, Andrew here, and I'm on the search this morning for Paris's best croissants. Apparently, they're right behind me. Whatever I do, I always try to do it fabulously. So why not join me on Travelling Fabulously? There's nothing better than in the morning trying a really great fresh croissant. Mm. All the butter, deliciousness, just in one little creation. Paris is famed for its patisserie, and of course, what could only be considered the queen of all patisseries? It has to be the croissant. If you didn't know already, I did a three-month Le Cordon Bleu patisserie course in my quest to be the Australian Julia Childs. I've got a similar look, the same voice, and a Paris kitchen, so I'm nearly there. There's nothing better than making a buttery croissant whilst you're on your trip in France, other than of course eating them. So in this video, I want to show you what I think are the best croissants in Paris. And because we are traveling fabulously, we'll have to have some fun along the way. So what's the difference between a crescent shaped croissant and a straight croissant? Well, straight or a bent one. A straight croissant, did you know, is made out of butter. And a croissant that's in a crescent shape is made out of margarine. Hippoly Mage Mulliers invented margarine in 1869, responding to a challenge set by the Emperor Napoleon. Napoleon needed to create a butter substitute for his armed services so they could go off and fight in Waterloo. Now is that a war or was that an oversong? My my, I can't believe that's not butter. Oh yeah. And how could I ever refuse? Yeah, I think you get the point. So when I was in Melbourne setting up a French food tour, of course I had to do research, and that involved eating croissants. I tried over 45 different croissants in Melbourne, and of course, I can't show you 45 different croissants here in Paris. But I can point you in the right direction to try at least a few. My first stop is the Pan Air des Ardis. Yes, I know, that's my French pronunciation. Well, it's the Australian accent actually. Translated though, that's bread and ideas. Christophe Casseur went from fashion industry sales executive to baker at the age of 30. The bakery he took over in 2002 had been a bakery since the 1889s. Um, did I just say 1889s? Anyway, since 1889. No, 1800s. Anyway. It being one of the last authentic bakeries in Paris, Christophe thought that it would be the perfect location to set up shop, so to speak. Or as they say in France, Met en Place Boutique. It's located on the corner of Rue Yves Tudic, yes that's my pronunciation, and Rue de Marseille in the 10th arrondissement. But don't just try the croissants here though, as there are plenty of other delicious types of Viennese pastries. You simply must try some, like the banana pan au chocolat, which I say was all kinds of yum, hashtag, because I put the hashtag on the end of everything. That works, doesn't it? And then there is also Bleu Cirque in the 12th arrondissement. Liberty Patisserie in the 10th is a great place to get a quick croissant fix. Those neon lights and marble displays inside are just tray chic and so fabulous. So apparently the French like to dip their croissants in coffee. I don't know about that. So, I'm going to try it now. I don't know what they were thinking. I even did it again just to make sure it was all kinds of wrong. Oh, and it was, trust me. What was I thinking? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely stuffed. And that's it for our best croissants in Paris.